Good morning. I'm Jen Amos at Weiss Research. I'm Andy Myers, and this is your morning market update for Monday, June 27th. Stocks on Wall Street opened with modest gains, despite a somewhat negative report on consumer spending. It came in flat last month, dropping to its lowest level in almost a year. Economists had been expecting a slight uptick. Meanwhile, personal income rose three-tenths of a percent, in line with forecasts. That gain in incomes pushed the savings rate up to 5%. But perhaps the most important number within that report was the core PCE price index, an inflation gauge that's watched closely by the Federal Reserve. It rose three-tenths of a percent in May, slightly above estimates and the biggest increase since October of 2009. However, on a year-over-year -year basis, core inflation is running at a 1.2% rate, still well below the Fed's target of around 2%. Investors' reaction to the data has been subdued so far. Many of them seem to be sticking to the sidelines, ahead of this week's vote by the Greek Parliament on another round of austerity measures. A yes vote is needed in order to secure more financial aid from the European Union and International Monetary Fund. Most analysts think the vote will be close, but that the austerity measures will be approved. That optimism is boosting the euro against other major currencies, but the dollar is showing continued strength as well, and that's weighing on commodities once again this morning. Crude oil is falling closer to $90 a barrel and is down nearly 10% in the past month. Silver is also resuming its recent decline, now trading below $34 an ounce. And even gold, which has held up well during the losses in other commodities, is now hovering right at the $1,500 mark. On the corporate front, the pharmaceutical sector is getting a lot of investor attention this morning. Bristol-Myers Squibb and the UK's AstraZeneca may be under pressure after reporting higher incidences of bladder and breast cancer in a phase two trial of their new diabetes drug. But the biggest stock loser among the drug makers is Pain Therapeutics, tumbling nearly 25% right now. US regulators postponed approval of a new proposed painkiller that the firm is developing with Pfizer. But a vote of confidence from Pfizer is boosting shares of the biopharmaceutical company Icogen. It's soaring 130% after Pfizer said in a regulatory filing that it's looking at a possible strategic alliance with the firm. Another big winner this morning is LDK Solar. The China-based firm is jumping more than 5% in U.S. trading after its board of directors approved a buyback of up to $110 million of its American depository shares. But keep an eye on shares of Target today. It's losing more than 1% after Janney Capital Markets cut the stock from buy to neutral. Analysts say Target will struggle to meet earnings estimates because of weak consumer spending, higher input costs, and a more competitive environment. And finally, Weiss Ratings tells us that one financial institution closed its doors last week, Mountain Heritage Bank in Clayton, Georgia. It had received the lowest possible rating of E- before its failure. That's the latest from Weiss Research. Have a great trading day.